This is the safety video for using an X-Acto blade. So the first thing is where are X-Acto blades stored? Well, in this classroom, if I spin around, you open up these doors, and they are tucked right inside here. It is important that they are always returned to this location and stored. We can never accidentally put an X-Acto blade into the orange containers. Um, because they're not allowed to be out um, during passing time. So they have to be stored um, and actually counted before we're able to leave. So once you have your X-Acto blade, let me go ahead sorry, and transition. You're also going to need one of these blue mats along with your X-Acto blade. You're going to want to want, you're going to want some scrap paper and I have a lot of options for scrap paper but notice you don't need very much this is just a little bit bigger than my hand is all you need and then you're gonna want a pencil you're gonna start by doing a bunch of straight lines and then you're gonna start making them up now students often will want to know couldn't I just cut randomly well yeah but then you won't use learn to use the exacto blade. The point is to make this just like a pair of scissors. So you take off your blade and, or the cap. This cap cannot be lost. If for some reason you can never find your cap, I know the gut response is just, I'll just put the exacto blade away without it. Please don't do that. Please let me know that a cap is missing because once we lose this 10 cent cap, we're no longer able to use this $10 X-Acto blade, um, you essentially have to throw the blade away without the cap for safety reasons. So let me know if you can't find it. And then you inspect your blade. And do you see how I have a sharp point all the way to the end and it kind of reflects the light all the way to the end. That is exactly what I am looking for. If for some reason the tip of it was missing or it appeared dull, I want to make sure to let um, the instructor know so that I could get it replaced. It's not safe. Also, if for some reason I break the tip off, it's important for me to let the instructor know. Most of the times we can't find it, but if we can, we should try and look for it. Okay, then you are going to push in the blade. Now, a lot of times when I see students, they're like, oh, their knuckles are white. They're pushing so hard. That actually is extremely dangerous because you will break the blade in half. So instead, it only takes the amount of pressure you would use like on a pencil. So the amount of pressure I push on my pencil to make the line is the same amount of pressure I need to push on my X-Acto blade. So I hold it at the top. I push into the blue mat and it's gonna absorb the blade so it's not gonna feel like I'm cutting. I'm gonna pull down and I'm gonna try and follow that line. So if the line's slightly crooked, I'm moving slightly crooked. Once I'm done, it will pull right away. Then I go on to the next line. I'm, you'll notice I kinda even hold with my finger as I cut. So I'm never, my hands aren't under here, they're always here. And I would practice all of these straight lines. I would say four or five is a really good call. Once I've done that, I'm going to try and do this curly cue line. So notice, my X-Acto blade hand isn't going to torque and pivot in a weird direction. My paper is instead going to turn. So I push the blade into the blue mat, which takes no pressure. Notice how like little work my fingers are having to do. I pull towards myself. Now I got to a corner, so I twist my paper. Do you see that? Then, because your blade is still on the mat, as I'm working, this gets harder. Now I have to twist and turn while my blade is cutting. As my hand starts to torque in an odd direction, I remove, regroup, and I twist my paper. You'll notice that I make this look really easy. What I have just done here might take you 10 minutes. That's okay. Once you've finished this whole thing, we're gonna pretend I did. Let's say you still have time left and you're wondering, well, what do I do now? Well, now for bonus points, can you cut a thin line out? So now, without a pencil line, 
I'm attempting to stay the exact same distance from my line. This is where it will get harder because I'm going to do a curve. I'm trying to stay the same distance away from my line. Your hope with the X-Acto blade is to get to the point where X-Acto blades are just like a pencil. They are another means with which you can create line. So, it got a little thick there. But, uh, once you are done, the hardest part with the X-Acto blade is putting the cap on. Students often don't think about it because like with a pen, you would just plop the cap on. But with an X-Acto blade, if you plop the cap on and miss, you're going to go right through your finger. And this blade's no joke, it'll go right on through <laughs> like that. That will bleed a very long time and hurt. So very carefully, eye on the prize, put your cap back on. A fun little trick, oh, I should have said in the beginning, is your caps can get stored under the corner of your blue mat and then they never get lost. Or if you have a bucket nearby, you can tuck it inside the bucket. It's kind of a pain to look for it, but it's not going to fall out of the bucket. Best of luck.